Let's have a look at uh, what Magda Zabanski said on, on Current Affair last night. I don't want to hurt her. Of course I don't. Do I think that if she's going to be in public life, we need to know more about her? Okay. Um, um, you know, seriously, the comment was about a, a PR epic fail. Wasn't, didn't, I didn't even mention her name, you know. So it wasn't about that. Um, but um, uh, I, of course I don't want Jenny Morrison to be hurt. Of course I don't. But... Do I think that if she's going to be drawn into public life, we need to know more about her? If she's going to be influencing opinions, I would like to know what those opinions are. And I think that's fair enough. I mean, I find this really offensive, Chris. Uh, have a go at the, the incumbent in the office of Prime Minister all you like, but respect the office of Prime Minister and certainly respect the spouse of Prime Ministers. I don't care even if the spouse is in the fight. Jenny Morrison certainly isn't. But even when the spouse is in the fight, like Lucy Turnbull, uh, in part like Therese Rain, they were fa far more uh, visible uh, Prime Ministerial spouses. I still felt that they were owed a lot of respect. Uh, in this case, Jenny Morrison's a stay-at-home mum. I think she acts with absolute dignity. She was standing there as her husband was signing a condolence book for Prince Philip. Uh, it could have easily been a picture of her at the table and him standing behind her. This is really nasty, cheap politics from the left. Magda has trawled through the gutter on two occasions. Firstly, in the way she referred to the Prime Minister's wife, and I do not believe her for one second that she didn't know that that was Jenny Morrison. Yes. It's not true. Who was it? The Deputy Prime Minister? It certainly wasn't the Governor-General. What, she didn't have her glasses on that night? I'm sorry. It was meant for the Prime Minister's wife and it was low and nasty and was. evil. And worse still... Of course it and was. And worse still, to talk about the fact that she's holding her daughter's hand and somehow uh, having a symbol, showing a symbol of white supremacy, sorry. Give us a break. Leave them alone. It's gutter. And she talks about epic PR fails. That interview last night was an epic PR fail. Absolutely. Look, she, she, she has enlarged that issue to be about the religious uh, aspects of the Morrison family. That's the target. Less about Jenny Morrison. It's a way to bring in the fact that uh, they are evangelical Christians and that's the new target yes. group of the left. So watch this space as we head into the election She's because Channel that is absolutely where link. people like Magda will go. Well, the interesting thing is I don't think Australians at Gleeso will enjoy seeing this happen and I think Channel 7 may well rethink her being the host. I don't think this is uh, edifying at all and there'll be a community backlash.